Hey, Scott and Jeff here with another great episode of How You Can Be Happy. Have you ever thought about service? Huh. That's what we're gonna be talking about right now. Hey, it's Scott and Jeff. Once again, here to talk about how to be happy. Happier, happiest. And uh, some of the ways to do that. So, the two of us are here, standing in the wind and the sun. Yeah out in front of what appears to be uh, a thrift store. And in fact it is, it's called Desert Industries. Mm -hmm. And you can see we're just kind of here at the donation drive-through where people much like yourselves are coming through and dropping off old clothes, books, shoes, motorcycle helmets, yeah, old television remotes, furniture, dollies, uh, uh, unwanted pets. Yes. Nah, actually you can't do, you can't do that. No. But why do they do it? That's well, all. It's all because of service. It just makes you feel good, right? Well, and, you know, and they get a lot of extra clutter in there. Yeah, house. and it's a tax write-off. We just, all know that, There's right? a lot of other reasons yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. But interestingly about happiness is that the more you stop thinking about yourself and think about others, the happier you actually become. Yeah. Hardest thing for me is just getting to be unselfish with it, right? You know, it's like, ah, but I just sat down to do this thing, or I'm just right in front of the bowl of Ben and Jerry's. You want me to go out and clean up someone's yard? It, it, that, that's the hard part for me. Once I do it though, I'm so happy I did it. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, is that really at the core of, of your own personal happiness, and it's this interesting phenomenon that occurs. It's very natural. We've all been there. We've all seen it. We all do it. We've all felt it. We're just here to remind you one quick way what I would call a, a quick upper, as it were, is to actually do something for someone else. So serve it up. Now this, this is... can be, uh, for example, in my own home, right? Something as simple as changing the trash out for my wife without having her have to ask me Anything to do it. Anything at all you know? without her having to ask yeah. is a great yeah. way to serve. And, and people would argue, well, really, it's not her job. It's not her place. It's your house, too. We agree. That's a given. We understand that. We're just saying for guys like me and Jeff, sometimes that really is a big deal to actually do something mm -hmm. that they didn't ask us to do. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times people think that, uh, okay, so I have to go out and do something. No, not necessarily. You can just do it right in the confines of your own home, your own neighborhood. We're not talking about, you know, signing up for some expedition on Everest to clean up trash. I mean, that's well, all that well and fun. Though. Yeah, it'd be yeah, great. Be it'd great. be awesome if you got the you know, resources to do that. But look inside of your own community, right? There's plenty of opportunities. That's right. Volunteer uh, opportunities are everywhere. In fact, you can find them online. There's a, an app that you can get on your phone that's called Just Serve. That's right. That's right. I've got that on my, on my phone. So anywhere that you go in the world, literally, uh, it will find you, you know, GPS automatically find my location or allow, what is that, location services? Yeah, yeah, location services. And the app will tell you within a certain radius of miles where you're at, all of the opportunities where you can serve. So what we're talking about, look, if, if you think a vacation is a lot of fun and it makes you happy, it does, no question about it, especially if you've really been working really hard up till that vacation. Mm -hmm. But if you get on vacation for a week to 10 days and you find that your happiness even on the vacation is waning a little bit, this is a perfect opportunity. Yeah. You could be on vacation in Cleveland, Ohio, which is the vacation capital of the Ooh, world. That's the first place Ooh, I always think of. <laughs> and you've already been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 17 times. Yeah. Well, pull up Just Serve and look and see geographically the opportunities that are there right there in Cleveland for you to do some extra service in the community and talk about having a fulfilling and fun and happy vacation. Absolutely. I mean, what are your favorite ones? I, as we talk about our top three, what are some of the ones that really stand out to you? Uh, visiting old people in convalescent centers. Okay. Started right. doing that when I was a young man, 12, 13 years old. We, when we weren't out stealing from people's homes and cars, we were actually at an old folks home just visiting random old people. They loved it and I loved it more than anything. Remember, we're talking about our first person happiness. The way it made me feel was incredible as a kid that age. I didn't know you could feel that from surface. That's yeah, my number three. Cool. So, uh, gosh, I, I, I think of my number one. Well, number number three for me is, is uh, um, you know, the, the shelters. Donating time to shelters, right. especially yes. during Thanksgiving. If you want to have a great family experience, or even during Christmas as well, you go down to the local food shelter and your kids will oh, remember that experience yeah. for as long as they live. That's they, my number two. Right yeah, there forget is... the toys for once, right? You know, they're always going to be there, but man, give them an experience outside of the walls of your own home. Number two for me is taking my kids down to 
uh, two shelters on a Thanksgiving a few years ago and having them put on the aprons and go and serving the homeless people at their tables. Uh, related to that, we also took a bunch of McDonald's gift certificates, spent up two or $300. Each of the kids wrote out a Merry Christmas or a Happy Thanksgiving card, and then we put these $20 gift certificates in. And we took it down to kind of the, the heart of the homeless part of town and, uh, and, and distributed those somewhat randomly, although once the people found out what we were doing, they, they were gone pretty quickly. Yeah. But that's my number two. Number two for me is pay for the person's groceries that is standing in front of you that's at really line. Fun. I mean, that's that's a really cool thing. And again, you're going to have to kind of have a little bit of intuition on this one. Obviously, you're not going to do it every single time. If you want to, fantastic. But sometimes, you know, you're just going to get that feeling where this person, you, based on, you know, maybe their their posture or their demeanor, you know, they need a hand. So just pay for their stuff for them and uh, you know, it's it just, it's an incredible A thing. variation on that I've heard, of course, people going through the drive up windows at fast food restaurants and saying, what does the person behind me owe? Yeah. And paying it then oh, so that cool. when they drive through, it's yeah. already been taken care of and they can't stop you, you're long gone, yeah. you're totally anonymous, yeah. Yeah. they can't call the cops, why would they? Yeah. Number one for me um, is uh, the Special Olympics. Uh, nothing can compare with the spirit and the feeling of spending six, seven hours helping judge events, uh, being timers at the end of the 100-yard uh, dash, measuring the jump and the shot put, the hugs, the love. You get there and you kind of feel a little weird because you don't know how to react, but within 10 minutes, this spirit of service and of joy and happiness is so unbelievably palpable that it will leave a mark on you for the rest of your life. I mean, it's my number one. Mm. And I've, I've, done, I've done a lot of service that makes me happy. Nothing made me shine with happiness more than being with those kids and adults with Special Olympics. Mm. So the number one for me happened on my LDS mission, Barcelona, Spain. We both went there. And uh, me and, uh, you know, me and my companion, we get done preaching at the end of the day, you know, teaching and going out and talking to people and all that. And we noticed outside of our fifth story window, there was a beggar going through the trash. And we kind of looked at each other and said, have we got any things that we can give? Don't so tell me you dropped food on him from the no, fifth no, no, story. No, 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 no. We had to, you know, there were no elevators in this building, right? So we had this dish of pesetas. You remember pesetas, Money. right? This Change. is before euros, yeah. right? These things are less than a penny, right? We had a bowl and said, let's go give him these. So we run down, give it to him, and his, his whole countenance just brightened up. So we go back all the way up to the top, and we're just kind of sitting there looking at each other. And then we're like, what else do we have? So we're grabbing, you know, clothing that we don't use anymore and other things and stuff. <laughs> what else can we give him? Yeah, we go running back down because it felt so good. And then he's like, wow, this is just fantastic. And I'm telling you, yeah, sure, we had success on our missions, you know, talking to people and teaching them about Christ and baptizing. But I'm telling you, that moment for me was the pure gospel. That was just it. It was just so awesome. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So if you're looking for ways to be happy, and maybe you're at a point where you're thinking, if you've typed into Google and you've found us, you know, how can I be happy now, right? An instant upper. Forget about yourself and just look for something to do for someone else, whether it's organizationally, whether it's a big, you know, global charity, it's some place that you can give money or whatever, but perhaps even more immediate, look in your home for someone who's a little sad, maybe is dejected or maybe just hasn't cleaned their room in a week. And so you're gonna take it upon yourselves to make their bed and shine their shoes and put their stuff away for them. Maybe with a little note, someone loves you, whatever. Not only is it great for them, it's great for you. And that's what we're talking about, is making you happy. Yeah, that's Forget about them. Yeah. You, they're just pawns. <laughs> you use them to make yourself happy. It's all about Can't you, baby. you see that? <laughs> all right, see you next time. <laughs> If serving other people makes you feel good, then for heaven's sakes, go and do it today. And you can serve us, of course, by liking this video. But that's not important. That's neither here nor there. We just want you to be happy. So, so don't like it. Don't share it. Don't comment. See if we care. <laughs>